I'm Anil Kumar and here is a quick note on probability distribution. What is a probability distribution? We can define this as an association of probability or frequency of a random variable, right? So if you really want to define it, you can say that a probability distribution is is association of random variable value with its probability. Right, so a random variable can have different values for each value of a random variable, what is the probability of that to happen? So that is what probability distribution is. And normally, we can show this in two ways. One is table of values, right? One is table of values. The other one could be graph. Anyway, they are almost the same things. So in table of values, we can have different uh, uh, values for the random variable let us say we take an example of tossing a die right let us say we toss a die in that case the random variable could be the number which you get on the top for example it is like one two three four five or six probability of each so probability of small x's these are individual values which x can take the random variable can take now, since it is a fair die, probability will be one sixth for each. Is it okay? One over six. So this is a case where we have a uniform probability distribution. Since each probability is kind of same, and if I have to represent that on a graph, for example, right? So, so I could say that each value is one sixth kind of like this right so we just have these bars where along the horizontal x-axis we have the value for the random variable x so this is the capital x and these are individual small values which are in this case one two three four five and six and on the vertical y-axis we will show the probability of each right so probability of each little x do you see that now each is one sixth one sixth now important thing here is whenever you sum all the probabilities then it should always be equal to one right so sum of all these probabilities that is to say xi times probability of each xi is always equals to 1, right? So all these. So in our case, uh, i is from 1 to 6, right? In our case, i is from 1 to 6. So if you add them up, this is always true. Another thing important to note here is that probability is always between 0 and 1 is it okay it is always between 0 and 1 as it should be now this is a very special case where we say that since it's all uniform we say it is uniform distribution correct so likewise we could have many different examples what you can do is you can make a table for tossing the coins. So you can take another example. Let's say toss two coins. Right. If you toss two coins, the possible outcomes are we could get head head, head tail, tail head, or two tails. Now in this case, you can define a random variable x as number of heads. Correct. So the possible values are, in this case, possible values for x are, you could have 
zero heads, right? Two tails, you could have one head or you could have two heads. What are their probabilities? So probabilities of these could be shown in the table. So probabilities could be shown as probabilities for xi's. So for zero heads, we have one out of four, right? So the probability is one out of four for zero. For one head, it is two out of four, which is same as half. And for two heads, it is one out of four, right? So in this case, how will you sketch or how will you represent the probability distribution? Well, in this case, let me make one here. Okay, so I'll just mark the space here, take our example as, uh, let's say example two. Now in this example, we have random variable defined as X, which could take the values zero, one, or two, right? Those are the possible values of X. Probability for each X is how much? Probability for zero, is 1 out of 4, for 1 it is 2 out of 4, and then for 2 it is 1 out of 4. So that becomes the probability distribution. You will again note that some of these probabilities is equals to 1. When you add them, 4 out of 4. Is that okay? And if I have to show it on a distribution uh, diagram as we did here, let me do it on this side, right? Let me do it this side, okay. Now, we have three values of random variable, which is 0, 1, and 2. Probability is 1 by 4. Let's say this is 1 by 4. This is at 0, 1 by 4. And that is twice this. And then we have another value, which is 1 by 4. Correct? So that is how you will get the representation on a diagram. So this is at 0, 1 by 4, for 1, half, and for 2, 1 by 4, correct? And random variable is on the x-axis, the probability of all little x's is on the y-axis. So you see kind of, this is binomial distribution, which we'll learn soon. Anyway, so what we see here is there are different way, there are two different ways of representing probability distribution basically it is table and this table information can be translated on a diagram as shown here histogram is that okay so it could be in either way the probability of the random variable that is the number of times an event occurs is always between 0 and 1 and some of their probabilities is always equals to 1 right so that is how we can summarize our understanding of probability distribution so probability distribution is association of random variables with its probability which can be shown on a table of values or on a graph as we have discussed in this video i'm anil kumar and i hope that helps thank you and all the best